Hey YouTube, one of the nice things we get to do, uh, not only in our big gay road trip, but also just in working for marriage equality is to meet some really amazing people. And tonight I'm here with Monica Leaving and Cecilia Talby, and they are the plaintiffs, one of how many couples? One of five. Five right. couples that are suing the state of New Mexico for marriage equality. So we're hoping, actually, there, there's much more to the story that we'll get to, but we're hoping that New Mexico will be one of the likely states to come up in the very new, near future. So, that said, how are you guys doing? Go ahead. Well, we're doing great. <laughs> <laughs> so what made you guys decide to uh, be involved in the lawsuit? One of the reasons that I really wanted to be involved in this was I feel obligated to try and do something to make a difference for everybody that has gone before us and is with us now and will go after us. I just I feel an obligation to take a stand and say, you know what, I'm going to put myself out there because I love this woman and I want to marry her legally. Nice. And how long have you guys been together? Almost 15 years. Just a couple of months short of 15. Now, how long had you guys been together before you decided that this was going to be, you know, we want to get married, this is what we're going to do? Well, let's see. Well, we, we had our own ceremony that we consider our wedding, and we will always consider it our wedding, not just a domestic partnership. We or... decided on that in about... Mm. Couple months. Yeah, a couple months. It was pretty. It was pretty pretty quick for us to to realize that you are the person that I want to make a life with. So that came pretty quick, and then we we had our ceremony basically a year and a half yeah. Yeah. after we after we got together. So um, our ceremony was a beautiful ceremony here in Farmington. Um, with about 125, 150 people at the country Only club. Only 150 oh, people. <laughs> <laughs> really small. It was beautiful. Oh, it, it really was such a beautiful, intimate um, ceremony. I, I wouldn't trade it for anything. Mm -hmm. Just the pa piece of paper. Mm -hmm. We're just waiting for the piece of paper yeah. now. Now, is it in any way scary or intimidating to be involved in such a case that's that's going to be so high profile in the state that you live in? Is there any part of that that says, well, oh, that's going to be a lot of spotlight for us? Or... You know, as far as I'm concerned, it I, I just never felt that. Mm -hmm. I, I probably was a little bit apprehensive of the unknown, but um, to be quite honest, it's been kind of uneventful as far as as far as here in Farmington because we're I, I was born and raised here so mm -hmm. I I know a lot of people in this town and um, both of us are in the community a lot. We're both in a band. We sing in a local band and so people know who we are and they know we're together so mm -hmm. it kind of feels a little bit like a non event except for being on the front page of the newspaper, that was kind of cool. So, it's it's it. For me, I'm a teacher, so I have to. I feel like I need to be careful. But I, I, the the most wonderful thing about getting involved in this case is that I feel liberated. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's nothing that anybody can say to me that I haven't already said to the community. This is me. This is the woman I'd like to marry. Um, and I feel completely valid in, in, in that request. So. And I, that's one thing I heard you say a lot tonight is I'm so excited for the school year to start. I, oh. I, I really, I really am because, because I've never gone into a school year where I know that they know. <laughs> so, um. I'm excited for that. I have got a lot of support, and my my friends here in Farmington are fantastic. Oh, they're the they're best. They're really, really fantastic. Yes. I I love them very, very much, and um, and most of them are 
of the straight variety. <laughs> so, yeah, we tend to have a few of those around. Yeah. They're they're fantastic, and as long as they don't flaunt it. <laughs> exactly, there is that flaunting. That, that they're so supportive, is. though, and 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 um, and very very much behind us, rallying around us. And I've got uh, I've got colleagues and and parents even that have that have said this is this is great you you really should be able to be married so yeah. now earlier this evening we were talking about the particulars of of your case and stop me if this is not something that we can discuss and we'll just edit it out but um we're hoping that it doesn't go through the full step of you know federal courts on up the chain till it finally hits the supreme court now that you guys Filed a particular writ whose name I can't recall. Uh, fill me in. Uh, <laughs> it's, a writ, it's a writ of mandamus, right? Which and, I had to learn yeah. myself. And so they're asking basically that it can skip all the preliminaries and just go for a decision from the Supreme Court straight right. away. Because the New Mexico Constitution is written as as it is, and because DOMA is out. Woohoo! Yeah. Um, <laughs> Our lawyers are thinking that the New Mexico Supreme Court can just make a make a ruling without having to go through uh, the court procedures. Right, and that's I understand that that's frightening because we just went through our own little version of that. But at the same time, it would be amazing not to have to go through all of those mm -hmm. steps along the way. So that was one thing we were just the constant battleground and the revolving door of well, we'll vote on it then, and if it doesn't work now, we'll vote on it over there. Be nice to just have it all over with. It would be it would be fantastic. Would be glorious. It would really be fantastic, and I'm I'm quite honestly very hopeful. Mm -hmm. um, we've got a fantastic lawyer team of eleven lawyers from um, Santa Fe and Albuquerque, yeah. who are just guiding us as far as all of the legal stuff. They told us don't don't worry about all of the legal stuff. You just tell your story. And that's that's your job, and that's what all of the plaintiffs are doing. We're talking to our friends and our family, and gathering support because of what we saw happen in in California. Mm -hmm. We saw that when you put it to the vote, it can go the wrong way, even right. in a state like California. Yeah. Oh, so that very so sad. New Mexico really <laughs> learned from California, and um, and again because of the way that um, the. Constitution is written. Um, we're really hoping that we don't have to go to the vote because while we think that we could win at the at the ballot, um, you just never know. It's true. As, as, it's, as it's, it's we're it's talking exactly about right. equal rights, and so yeah. we it's it isn't something that we should have to vote on. Right. So. Absolutely. Now, where were you guys when Doma was struck down, and how big did you celebrate? Gosh. Um, we were on the airplane. Exactly. And I saw it um, on my iPhone and I just started crying. I couldn't even speak. I just handed her the phone. And yeah, we took off and we, we, oh. we, were, we were on Facebook, we were on um, all of the, you know, all the, all the blogs and everything and nothing came down. So it was like, turn off your phone. So. I was like, no, this is such an important day. <laughs> so as soon as we landed, we were in Dallas, landed on Dallas. As soon as they said you can get off your out your cell phones, we got out and we were like, oh, we did it, we did it! And everybody around us was like, well, what's what happening? <laughs> we got it, we won. And oh. Cecilia was crying, and it was <laughs> it was kind of it was like a hush to like. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, we then we had to call all our friends and right. tell them, and it was it was pretty dang cool. Nice. And do you, so? Uh, I think the answer to this is probably obvious. But do you think that this will help the likelihood that the, your court case will go the direction? That's, that's, that's exactly, exactly that's what we're yes. hoping. I mean, if we've got federal benefits and our New Mexico Constitution is ambiguous, ambiguous <laughs> then it seems likely that that we will be able to to um, pass this through to in by whatever means we need to I know that um, our Attorney General has has basically given us the thumbs up but needs 
needs and wants the the Supreme Court to back right. to back her. And all of the county clerks have been um, fantastic, very polite, and and they're kind of give us giving us the thumbs up. We hope to see you soon. Yeah. We just can't give you a marriage license yet. Yeah. So it's like we'll be back. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck, ladies. Good luck. Yeah. It's, it's it's beautiful support. So. So what do your three girls make of you guys doing this? Well, they're definitely behind us, 100%, and as well as our grandsons. Um, I think our oldest grandson understands more than the other two, the, the younger two. But um, they, if, if they could scream from the rooftops, they, they would. They're, they're just such great kids, and they're so supportive of us, and have always been. So I mean, we're just a, we're a tight family full of love, just like most families, you know, just like an, an average family. That's what we are. <laughs> I'd use the word ecstatic. Yeah. When, when we told the girls that we had gotten involved in this lawsuit, they were like, yes, this is fantastic, great, good. What do we need to do? Yeah, what can, what we, can we do? Yeah, they, they how can we help? Do. And, um, and that's, that's really great. So all three of our girls are just... They're good girls. We've done well. <laughs> yes. yes, we have. Good job. Good job. <laughs> well, and YouTube, that's what it's about. It's about love, and it's also about families. And I think these two ladies show that in, it, brilliantly. And we want to say thank you, you guys, for thank having you. us over. We've had a wonderful time. We're going to be sad to leave in the morning. Such a pleasure. Yeah. Definitely. And thank you, YouTube, for inviting us into your living room or computer room or whatever dark space you happen to be watching us in. <laughs> Good night. Bye, YouTube. Bye, YouTube.